Any trash? Yeah, my ex-boyfriend. Can I get you anything? A million dollars. How's your flight so far? Shaky, like my relationship. You have any dietary restrictions? I'm allergic to everything but first class food. Would you like any headphones? How did you know my name was Phones? Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the f, man? Thanks for flying Genie Air. Have a great day. Someone help me get my bag. Excuse me, is this the toilet? No, the door next to it. On the left. This one? The the door to the left. This one? Right next to it. You're almost there. Just just scoot to the left. This one? Yes. No, no, wrong door. No. Left. Left. Here? Yes. The door to the left. Okay, now just push. No. No. Push. Push. Just push. Push. Yeah. Yeah. Push. 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 Push, 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 oh, push. Hey, you got it. Excuse me, is this the toilet? Attention passengers, I'm sorry, but it looks like we might not make it out alive. The engines aren't working and the plane is going down at an alarming speed. All I can say is hold on to your loved ones and pray. If we're going to die anyways, I need to let you know. I love you, Lisa. We're cousins! Okay, okay, it was me! I did it! I closed the toilet! Both of them! I can't die with this guilt. I cheated on my wife with her best friend! You cheated on me with Sarah! Attention passengers, it's a miracle! I've got everything under control. We're going to be okay. Please forget what I said about the toilets. Babe, it looks like we're going to live. Ah! Sorry, but I will need to charge you for being overweight. How dare you? That is so effing rude. Like when did airlines start discriminating against people's sizes? What is your problem? You guys are not charging for everything. And I swear, this is just holiday weight. I, I didn't mean to eat all the churros. They were just right in front of me. I'm just trying to have a hot girl summer. I'm trying my best. I, you know what, this is so unfair. Let me talk to your supervisor. I meant your luggage. Oh, do you take visa? Hello, how can I help you? Um, my mom wanna change seats, please. Oh, you want to change seats? Okay, well, let me take a look. Oh, it looks like the only available seats are in the back next to the toilets. Uh, my mom says she dying. Pardon me? 그리고 우리 뒤에 앉으면 안 돼. 시간이 없다고. 비행기 또 타야 되는데. 뒤에 앉아 봐. 어? 그 마지막 비행기야. 놓치면 안 돼. 마지막. Uh, she says she had no time left and this her last flight. Her last flight? Oh my god. You know what? We're going to have to make this a memorable flight for her now, don't we? Here are your new seats. Thank you. What? Yeah. 또 뭐라 그랬어? I don't know. Thank you for flying with us. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Oh, my Uber is here. For Michelle? Yes, that's me. Hey, weren't you my flight attendant? Yeah, just finished my shift. So uh, your destination is 124 Rainbow Avenue? Yeah, that's right. Okay, cool. Hold on. I have an Amazon package for you. You also do deliveries? Yep.
I'll need to inspect your bag. Oh, be careful, it might explode. Excuse me? No, no, she said explode because her bag is so full it might explode, you know? Mm-hmm, and what's this? Uh, just in case, uh, you know, she might blow up the plane. You plan to blow up the plane? No, 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 it's air freshener, unwrap it. She said blow up because, you know, I have IBS. Uh-huh, either way, she cannot take this on the plane because it's over the liquid limit, okay? Jack, can you come get this, please? Hi, Jack! What did you just say? Oma! Oh, great. Sitting next to a kid? This is the worst. Okay, Amma. This is American Airlines. Speak English. How do I know you're not insulting me? Oh, sorry. Uh, no good English. Maybe you should just go back to your country then. Back to Canada? Excuse me, I found your passport. Ugh, you made it all sticky. Sorry. Passport. Here you go. Sorry, I can't let you through. This passport has been tampered with. What? Sorry, ma'am, you need to put your bag underneath the seat in front of you or in the overhead bins. Oh, okay. What won't you do? Oh. emergency exit row so in case of an emergency are you willing to assist us what do i have to do in the unlikely event we need to evacuate you need to open the emergency exit door and i'll show you how to do that what if i don't want to what do you mean i don't want to do that oh well that's okay i'll just need to switch you with someone else then that's willing to assist me no i paid for this seat this is my seat yes but there's also requirements for those sitting in these seats to assist during an emergency I don't care well we need to care because it's going to save everyone's life i don't want to talk to you anymore you're being a big meanie head and i hate you okay i wasn't trying to be mean but i don't care i don't want to do it does sound fun fun well you know what's fun if you open the emergency doors you get to go down the inflatable slide there's a slide yeah why didn't you say that earlier of course i'll help oh my Wait. I have a huge secret, but you can't tell anyone, okay? Could I? Okay. Okay, so Cousin Leia is pregnant, and she doesn't know who the father is. It could be her husband, her personal trainer, or even the mailman. <gasps> oh, mom, 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 mom. Amma, promise, you can't tell anyone, okay? Yegi oh. anaji! This is Justin. Cousin Leia is pregnant with the triplets, and each baby has a different father. Oh, male man, no husband. Oh, excuse me, can we get headphones, please? Of course, it's five dollars each, so that'll be ten dollars. For headphones? It's okay then. Where did you get pizza? Oh, how about Bonnie's hair? Ah, 네. 지금 미국에서 사는데요. 부산에서 태어났어요. 어머, 제 가족도 부산에서 사는데. 잠깐만요. 서비스를 줄게요. 어, 감사합니다. And here's one for you too, ma'am. No, 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 it's okay. I don't want to pay. No, it's on me. Oh, thank you. 너무 예뻐요. Queen of Tears has a Hongae인처럼 닮았어요. 어머, 아니에요. I'll talk to you both in a bit. What was that? The Korean card. The what? 저기요, 비즈니스 클래스에 자리가 있는데 혹시 거기로 옮기고 싶어요? 아, 네. 감사합니다. What's going on? 제 친구는요, 같이 오세요. What are we doing here? We got upgraded. No way! Kamasamita! Excuse me, would it be okay if I got the window seat? No, sorry, this is my seat. I mean, what if you have to pee? It'll be easier for you to get out. It's okay, I have a strong bladder. You know, if there was an emergency, you would get off faster on this seat. I'll risk it. Oh, come on, you're not even looking outside. 
inside. What's the point of sitting in that seat if you're not gonna look outside? Because there's nothing to see. We're in the sky, you know. I heard that window seat passengers have a higher risk of skin cancer because of the sun's UV rays. Why do you want it? Because I'm wearing SPF 1000, are you? <clears throat> okay, fine, let's switch. <laughs> yes, thank you. Hey, your, your screen's not working. Your seat, your problem, not mine. Oh, excuse me, Miss Flight Attendant, my screen is broken. Oh, I'm so sorry. The only available seats are left in first class. Did you want to move there? <laughs> yeah, I would love to. Passport. Here you go. Thank you. Is something wrong? Your picture looks nothing like you. What do you mean? I mean, the hair is different, different bone structure. Oh, no, that's contouring. It was just my makeup. Honey, I know makeup. This is not makeup. Yeah, no. Please go to additional security. They'll double check. No, wait. I can prove it. See? Oh yeah, they are the same. Security! Why? Because it's illegal to alter your photo to look like a completely different person. exit row. Will you be able to assist us in case of an emergency? Oh, no worries. I'm actually crew, so I got it. You're crew? Yeah. And uh, sorry to bother you, but can I actually get some headphones? Oh my gosh, of course. Here you go. Thanks. Again, that was $5, right? Let me just grab my card here. Girl, please don't worry about it. Oh my God, thank you. You're so sweet. And you know, also for my meal, just give me whatever's left over. Don't worry about it. Why? I don't want you guys dealing with the angry passengers, you know, if they don't get their meal choice. Oh my God, I love you. Here, take these snacks from first class. Thanks. And did you want something to drink before we take off? Maybe some wine? On me? Oh sure, that'll be great, but just one glass. I don't want you getting in trouble. One glass? Yeah, of course, I got you. Here you go. How can I help you? I don't like people sitting next to me, so you need to move me. Unfortunately, ma'am, this is a full flight, so you will be sitting next to people. I don't understand. This plane has hundreds of seats. I can explain it to you again, but I can't understand it for you. Full flight means there are no empty seats available. Do you think I'm stupid or something? There's one right there. Hmm? You're not stupid, ma'am. I am for thinking you're intelligent. That is a jump seat and only cabin crew can sit in those seats. Are you blind? There's no one in there right now. That's because that is my seat and I'm standing here talking to you right now. Okay, so since it's empty now, I can sit there. I can tell intelligent thoughts have always followed you, but you were always faster. Thank you. Hello, welcome. Uh, you wear no clothes? What? Why are you naked? It's cold on the plane. Here, blanket, you take. Oh, thank you. Okay, everyone, please wear your seatbelt to pull your safety. Oh wear God. your seatbelt. Yeah. You know what, those rich kids? Sir, wear your seatbelt, please. Thank you very much. Some of them, but like, who's me, sir? Buy your seatbelt, man. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. Thank you very much, thank you. May I have some chips, please? Of course, but uh, don't slouch, okay? Up, up. And don't eat the chips. Bad for you, I give you Kim. Thank you. What the? Everybody, no more TV. Bad for your eyes, read a book. But I don't have a book. 
There's nothing to read here. Doggy safety manual right there so you know what to do. Thank you very much for flying and uh, oh, take a leftover. We don't waste the food. Oh, thank you so much. And don't forget to call your mom. Tell her you love her. Cabin crew, prepare doors for departure and cross check. <laughs> Excuse, excuse me, miss. Yes, sir. Is anybody sitting near here? No. Um, the doors are closed, so the whole row is closed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. That looks fun. Oh, did this allow, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't see why not. Just uh, make yourself at home. Make myself at home? Sure. Sure. What are you doing, sir? You said make yourself at home, right? Some privacy, please. What are you doing? You said make yourself at home. Excuse me, what, what's going on? Oh, you said make yourself at home. Lower, lower. Uh, 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 uh. Excuse me? Can I help you? This is not what I meant when I said make yourself at home. You can join me if you want. The school run? Dot? Gates? Gold? Gat? You idiots! It's gout, right? It's gout. Okay, and for your final question, how good are you with video games? Uh. What kind of video games? I don't know, like puzzle games? Uh, yeah, I have several different ones down below on my phone right now. You're hired. Mama, I'm hungry. Hmm. Mama, I'm hungry. Ladies and gentlemen, please do not get up from your seat as it's going to get very dark soon due to the solar eclipse. Please refrain from looking out the windows. Complete darkness should only last for a few seconds. Oh, what is this? I don't know. I love my seat. I have so much space to stretch. Oh, I love my seat. I can sleep against the wall. This seat sucks. This is so cool, I can see what other people are watching. I can see everything. It's beautiful. This seat sucks. I can pee whenever I want without bothering anyone. I have the power to control light. This seat sucks. Coke! Injecting needle. J something shot ice no that's wrong what are you doing what are you doing oh, oh champagne hi i'm here to check in for an unaccompanied minor great may i have the minor's passport and paperwork please oh you just turned 13 well happy birthday and don't worry us flight attendants will take Great care of you. Huh? I'm the mom. She's the minor. Jimmy, how many times I tell you to vacuum the book? Jimmy, I told you to do the dip. Jimmy, do the lo- Jimmy, make your bed. Jimmy, clean the dip. You ordered a large french fry? Yes, it. thank you. Great, so actually your order has been paid for already by the person in front of you as part of the paid for chain. Huh? Why? It's when the person pays for the next person's order to spread kindness and you're actually a 27 person. Oh, that's a pretty nice. Oh, okay, okay, I do the same. That's so sweet, thank you. So the order for the person behind you comes to $105.32. $105? I just got the bread spray! Oh, 
They, they must have a few people in the car. <laughs> I'm not paying that. You broke it. Go get Jack. Pay for your food. What? What did I do? Oh my God. My chest. This body thing. My chest hurts. Oh my God, sir. What's wrong? I think I think a heart attack. Is there a medical professional on board? Get over here. I head for you. Is that Tiger Bomb? Hmm. Yes, sir. Oh my. Is there an actual doctor on board? Oh my god. You saved my life. You're very welcome. Amma, can I just go to my friend's house for dinner? I'll be back by nine. Amma, I didn't do any of my homework and so I'm gonna go hang out with my friends and do drugs, okay? Huh? You crazy! You need to study. You grounded! What? Amma, can we order pizza? Amma, I hate your food and I don't love you anymore. You don't love me anymore? Huh? Amma, can I go to the movies with John? Amma, I'm gonna go meet up with a boy to get pregnant. You're too young to get pregnant! What? Amma, it's okay, he's gay. Oh, you're gay? I didn't know. Huh? This is my friend Hannah. Hi, it's so nice to finally meet you. Oh, hi, Hannah. Nice to meet you. Hey, just wait here for a sec. I'll be right back. Okay, no worries. I'll just hang with your mom for a bit. Oh, Hannah, where are you from? Vancouver. What is your job? I'm a hairstylist. Where are your parents from? They live in Dallas, Texas. What is their job? My mom's a teacher and my dad's an engineer. Hmm. Do you like a kimchi? I, I, I love kimchi. Do you have a boyfriend? No, I don't. Oh, my nephew, he's single too. You want to meet him? Oh my, this is ridiculous. Excuse me? Yes, ma'am, how can I help you? I paid a lot of money to fly first class, so what's with all the shaking? I'm sorry, ma'am. Regardless of the cabin that you're sitting in, there's nothing we can do about the turbulence. I sit in the front part of the plane for a premium experience. I shouldn't have to feel a thing. I see. Well, what do you propose we do about the turbulence, ma'am? Tell your captain to fly the plane in a way that only the back can feel it. You want us to transfer the turbulence to the back of the plane? I don't care how you do it, just stop the turbulence. Certainly, ma'am, I know how to fix the situation. Ah! I can help who's next. Hello, we're here to check in our bag of fleet. Certainly, and I'm just going to verify your information here. Where are you headed? Oh, we visiting my niece in Missouri uh, because she gone to Korea for college and she returned. Oh, how nice. Well, here is your boarding pass. Have a wonderful flight. Thank you very much. Gotcha. Oh, your kid is adorable. Are you going to do anything fun on your trip? I think so. We're going to see my cousin in misery because she has gonorrhea from college. Jimmy, how's the score? It's fine. I can put that bag up for you, sir. No, no, that's fine. I can do it. I insist. It's my bag. I can do it. It's my job. I pack. I lift. I told you it's my job to do it. I told you I got it. I told you I got it. Let go. I put it in. I'm gonna put it. You let go. I got it. It's my, it's my bag. What did I get it? Tell me you're a baker. Tell me you're a baker. I'm a baker. Excuse me, may I? Guys, I went on my first date and he already asked me to marry him! Ah! But we have to get married within the month because if we don't, he's gonna get kicked out of the country! I can't let that happen. Oh, must be nice because my last date had a secret family in Florida and the wife showed up on my date! Oh, that's pretty bad! Uh, excuse me, hello? You guys think that's bad? I just found out my ex is actually my cousin on my stepdad's side. <gasps> yeah, I know! And, uh, oh, hi, did you need something? Oh, yeah, uh, honestly, I 
forgot, but wow, it must be so much fun to get to work with all of your best friends and talk about this stuff. Oh no, we all just met today. Huh? Ugh, of course I'm sitting next to a child. Kids are such brats. Don't touch me with your nasty little hands, okay? I don't want to get dirty. Please, don't be mean. Karma gonna get you. <laughs> like I believe in karma. Hey, what happened to my headphones? It's the karma. Karma isn't real. They were old. I was gonna buy a new one anyways. Oh man, my lotion exploded in my bag. I told you it's the karma. You can stop it by being good. <laughs> What's that smell? <gasps> oh, I'm gonna be sick. <gasps> oh, your daughter's so cute. What's her name? Karma. Hey, would you like any snacks? Can I have cookie, please? Of course. Here you go. Thank you. Can I get some more? Sorry, sweetie. I need to pass it out to the rest of the passengers first, okay? Why? Because if we don't feed everyone, they're going to get mad at me. Why? Because making people happy makes me feel good. Why? Because I'm a people pleaser. Why? Because... I don't know, I have a constant need for approval. Why? Because I grew up in a house where nothing I ever did was good enough. Why? Because life is complicated and messy, and I don't even know how I'm holding it together right now. Why? Because I'm 40 years old and I'm living paycheck to paycheck, and I just found out my boyfriend's cheating on me, and all my friends have moved away because they got kids, and I don't see them, I have no friends, my best friend's my dog. <laughs> I gotta die alone. Hi, how can I help you? Ah! You scared me. Oh, can I just get some headphones, please? Of course, here you go. Thank you. I also noticed that you had a few goosebumps, so I brought you a blanket. Wow, you can see that? Thanks so much. And if there's anything else you need, just let me know. We want you to be as comfortable as possible. You just need to press the call bell once, dear. I heard you the first time. Oh, I, I'm so sorry. Um, can I just get some headphones, please? Of course, dear. And that'll be $5 and we only take card. Oh, it's not free? Free? <laughs> You're funny. Okay, never mind. Then, well, uh, is the blanket free? Because it's really freezing in here. Oh, sweetheart, the only thing free on this flight is my smile. Oh my god, what happened? Oh, he's been in a coma for 40 years. Oh. Not looking good. Let me know if you need anything. Thank you. Welcome aboard, ma'am. Oh, Ooh. let me help you with that. Oh, Here. Thank you, honey. Here we go. How's your day so far? It, it's okay. Oh, great. Is you okay? We have now arrived in Los Angeles. Those that need special assistance, please remain on board. Uh, excuse me, don't we get off first? No, ma'am. You get off last. Last. What? Stop. Stop thinking it. This is bad karma. What was that? I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm suing you. I've been here for my lawyer. Where are you headed? Oh, I'm going to Paris for vacation. I'm so excited to see the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Me too! Isn't the food of France so good? Yeah, so good. First thing I'm getting is a croissant. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, and I can't wait to try escargot. Have you tried escargot? No. <laughs> oh, and we can't forget about the macarons. Macaroons? Macarons. <laughs> Have you tried the macarons? They're like tiny pieces of heaven. I even heard the baguettes there are on a whole nother level. Do you think the french fries are good there too? Do they call french fries just fries over there? What about french toast? I love me a good french toast. Oh, that reminds me. Hello, I'm here to check in for my flight. Hello, welcome. And oh, I'm so sorry. Your flight has been canceled. No, 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 no. I need to see my family. I understand, ma'am. But don't worry. We're going to make it up to you. Here is a free airline branded pen. Huh? Seriously, you're going to like this pen. It writes in three colors. Oh. I guess uh, this is a good pen? That's not all. How about I upgrade you to premium economy on your next flight? Premium? Uh, what, what's that? More leg room! A whole 0 0.5 inches more. Ooh, bigger than my husband? Also, for the inconvenience, here is a $20 airport voucher that you can use for anything at the airport. You can even get a bottle of water. 
branded kind like Fiji. Pretty money? Oh, oh, oh. Nobody care about Pemberley anyway. Oh. So glad you're happy, ma'am. Thank you so much for your understanding. No. Oh. Thank you. Sucker. <laughs> Sucker. I want to be a flight attendant. Why? They're like servants in the sky. All they do is serve you drinks and snacks. <laughs> So a drink then? <laughs> no! And do you smell smoke? There is a fire on the plane! What do we do? Oh! Do you need drinks or snacks? No! We need you to do something about the fire! So you want me to put it out with the drinks? What? My mask isn't working! I got three! Oh. So no snacks then? I got three! Sorry, I'm just trying to serve drinks and snacks just like you said. I'm so sorry, I was wrong! Accepted. You just needed to pull the string. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, but seriously, do you want any drinks or snacks? Hi, may I get some tea, please? Sure thing. Sabrina Carpenter is in first class. Ooh, you know, I'm working late, cause I'm a singer. Excuse me, can I get some hot tea, please? I just saw 25A go in the lavatory with 30C. Aren't you supposed to do something when two people are in the bathroom? Eh. Excuse me, I still didn't get my tea. I ordered extra hot tea. Oh, extra hot tea. Our pilot Tony has a wife back home and he's freaking out because his girlfriend is on this flight and she has no idea. My boyfriend has a wife? I'm just getting this one lipstick, thank you. Wonderful. Oh, are, are those free samples? Can I get some? Sort of. You collect points for every purchase and you redeem the points to get these free samples. Oh, okay. Well, I've spent a lot, so maybe I have enough points. Let me just check your balance here. Oh, you're almost there. Okay, well, how much more do I need to spend? Just $2,000 more. $2,000? Yes, hey, just the one. Thank you. Great choice. These are also some new products that you should definitely try. Uh, I'm just gonna add the most popular products from our store. Uh, and because you got this specific brand, we're gonna give you these as well. Uh, I love these. I'm just gonna give it to you. Okay, sure. And of course, face masks, you know. I'm sorry, how much is all this gonna cost me? Honey, services. Services. Reasons airlines can deny you boarding. While boarding, if flight attendants sense that you might be a little sick and about to puke, they can deny you boarding. I know some of you like to before a flight, but just remember, if you look way too drunk, we can deny you boarding. I don't know why you would do this, but people do. If you come barefoot, we can deny you boarding. For our larger passengers, if you cannot safely put on your seatbelt with a seatbelt extender, the flight attendants can deny you boarding. If you look really pregnant, like really, really, and you don't have a doctor's note to prove how many weeks you are or if you can fly, they may deny you boarding. Before flight, it might be wise for you to get a family or friend to sniff you because if you have bad body odor we can deny you boarding speaking of bad smells if you're bringing in something as well that stinks well we can also deny you boarding for that as well some airlines kind of like have a dress code but no dress code clearly if you're naked you're not getting on but some airlines will actually deny you boarding if you're wearing a little bit something too sexy also i kind of like this one but lastly do you just have a bad attitude problem so if you're kind of an a-hole we can deny you boarding so be kind everyone bye sweetheart i'm so sorry you're getting bullied but remember violence is never the answer never use your fists always use your words okay and tell them that their actions are hurting you and hopefully they will listen huh? you get the bully they hit you i tell you what to do okay they come punch you you block and you protect yourself yeah and then what you do, you take your fingers and then you pinch it. You pinch it right here, very hard. They scream like a baby, okay? When they scream like a baby, you take your phone, you take a video, and then you tell them, 
You stop bullying me or I put on the internet, bullies cry, scream like a baby, okay? And make sure when this happens, you tell the principal right away so that they can set up a meeting with the parents and we can all come to a peaceful solution. No need to tell the principal, okay? You tell mommy. Give me the name and address. Let's go. Thank you for calling Air Nonsense. Your call is very important to us. Please hold. Hi, this is Linda with Air Nonsense. How can I help you today? Hi, Linda. I need to cancel my flight and get a refund, please. I would love to help you. Great, but I'm not authorized to do that, so let me transfer you over to someone that can. No, no, Linda, I've been on hold for 30 minutes. Please wait up. Hey, this is Air Timmy with No Nonsense. I'm, I mean, this is Timmy with N Air Timmy. No, I'm, I mean, this is Timmy with Air No Nonsense. Timmy, Timmy, I need to cancel my flight. Of course, I will do that for you. I just don't know how to yet. So just give me a second. Isn't it your job to know? Just hold on a second. I'll know in a few minutes. I'm just trying to find a tutorial on YouTube. Hello? Oh, you're still there? Are you kidding me? Hello, sweetheart. This is Miss Thompson. How can I help you? Hello. Okay. You're like the third person I've spoken to. Please, I need to cancel my flight. What was that? I, I need to cancel my flight. Hello? Hello? You need to speak louder, honey. I cannot hear you. My flight. I need to cancel my flight. Your pants are too tight. Honey, just, just try wearing looser pants. No, no, I need to cancel my flight. Cancel my flight. Listen, sweetheart, if you're wearing the wrong pants, it's probably because you have the wrong suitcase. I will transfer you over to Lost and Found. No! Hello, this is a Korean mom. How can I help you? Oma, what are you doing there? Oh, Jinny? Oh, I got a new job. Since when? Takama. Why are you calling Lost and Found, huh? What did you lose this time? You lose something again? I knew it. But then they waited. Oh, Hi, this is Linda, the operator from Air Nonsense. How can I help you today? Didn't I talk to you before? What? Okay, it doesn't matter. Linda, I need to cancel my flight. Please transfer me to someone that can cancel my flight. Uh, le let me grab my manager. Thank you. Give me one moment, please. This is the manager speaking. Yes, hi. Uh, I would like to cancel my flight and get a refund, please. Of course. I can definitely do that for you. Thank you. Okay, well, it looks like we're refunding you $369 for your ticket. Yes! And after taking out the cancellation fee, the booking fee, the airline fee, the electricity fee, the transferring call fee, the customer service fee, the cellular call fee, and the service service fee, you're going to actually owe us $500. Forget it. I'll keep my flight. Welcome to the husband store. May I help you find anything in particular? I'm uh, looking for a husband. Well, you've come to the right place. Let me explain to you how our store works. We have six floors in total, and as you move up on each floor, it increases in value. You may start on the first floor and move your way up. The rules are you can only pick one husband. If you go up a floor, you cannot go back down. So are you ready to find your husband? Yeah, I'm ready. Great, let's start with floor one. Hi, I have a job. Oh, that's a great start, but I think I'm going to need more than that. Bye. <laughs> Welcome to floor two. I have a job and I do housework without you asking me. Okay, now we're getting somewhere, but I still think we can do better. I hope you have better luck with floor three. I have a job, I do housework, and I know you're always right. I am? I mean, damn straight I am! I think we're getting close. I'm glad we're getting close. Welcome to floor four. I have a job, I do housework, you'll always be right, and I built an animal sanctuary so I can save animals. <gasps> oh my god, he's so hot. <gasps> you're almost perfect. I think you're going to be happy with floor number five. I have a job. I do housework. You'll always be right. I rescue animals. And you know that special happy place on a woman's body that men can't seem to find? 
I know where that is. Oh! He's perfect. Fantastic, we found your husband. Yeah, but I'm still gonna go to the sixth floor. Are you sure? You said he was perfect. I know, I know, he's perfect, but there's another floor I just have to know. Okay, well, that's your life, so welcome to final floor number six. Husband, wife is here. Hello? Hello? There's no one in here. You are one of 3.95 billion women that have ended up on this floor. There are no men on this floor. This floor solely exists to prove that women are impossible to please. I don't know why I'm making this video, but I feel like I need to. This is how to properly get off the plane. First of all, stay seated until the seatbelt sign goes off. This is actually the perfect time for you to check your seat and make sure you have all of your belongings. Passengers lose so many things, and I'm gonna tell you right now, once the plane leaves again, the chance of you getting your stuff back is when the seatbelt sign goes off, feel free to stand up and stretch your legs, stretch your arms. For me, I usually just stay seated because I want to finish the movie that I'm watching. Whatever you want to do, just stay in your section. Usually there'll be one exit. If it's a larger plane, maybe two. But wherever the exit is, please exit the plane row by row. For those that need special assistance for whatever reason, please remain seated until everyone has disembarked. Don't block the aisles. A flight attendant will help you when they can. And if your bag is behind you in the overhead bins, don't try to like wiggle through the crowd. All you need to do is wait until the aisle is clear up into the row where your bag is. Now, if your flight is delayed and you have a connecting flight and you feel like you need to rush off, the chances are there's more people on that flight that also has a connecting flight and they're also probably late. If you are delayed and you have a connecting flight with the same airline, they know this information. So if the ground crew on the next flight think that you're not gonna make this flight, they will rebook you on the next available flight. Also, I've seen this happen a couple times. If you advise the crew that you have a connecting flight you need to catch, sometimes they move you closer if there's a seat available to the exit, but that's up to the crew. And also, if there is an emergency upon landing, like a medical emergency, Please follow the instructions of the crew and remain seated so the person that's probably dying needs to get off the plane first. They do. Thank you. Happy flying. 우리 지니는 어렸을 때 빤스를 머리에다 쓰고 홀락 먹고 동네에 돌아다녔어. 엄마! 우리 지수는 레몬네이드를 너무 많이 마셔가지고 학교에서 빤스에다가 오줌 쌌잖아. 엄마! 야야 그 안쪽 팔려. 우리 지니는 우리 파크에 갔는데 어? 땀바닥에 개똥이 있는 거야. 그걸 먹었어? 초콜릿인지 알고? 엄마! Stop telling embarrassing stories! 아 왜? 지난 말이야. 패스트 있어 패스트? 어 oh, 예? Yeah. Mrs. Kim, did my mom ever tell you about the time that she went to the grocery store and pooped her pants because she thought it was a fart and then I had to buy her a pack of Depends in case she had another accident? They go Why are you laughing, Amma? Remember the time that you pooped your pants while driving and then you were speeding to get home and then you got pulled over by a cop and then he let you off because it stank so much? Airlines can put you on the no-fly list. I mean, I think this one is pretty obvious why. I don't even want to say the word because I know they're listening. I mean, if you're thinking of even doing this, being on the no-fly list would be the least of your concerns. Trust me. No, seriously though, does anyone still smoke? Smoking just has negative effects for everyone. First, it's bad for your health. It's also bad for everyone around you that has to inhale the secondhand smoke. And also, there may be a chance that you may start a fire. Mm-hmm. On board? Nobody wants to go down in a ball of flames, okay? Thank you. If crew give you instructions, for example, for safety and security, please follow them. Just so you know, it's for your benefit. And by not following those instructions, it may put other people at risk. So if that's the case, we may put you on the no-fly list. You wanna go? You wanna go? <laughs> well, go sit down because this ain't WWE. Why are you guys fighting on the plane? Can we please just settle conflict like mature individuals that I hope we are? Thank you. This can be both verbally or physically. We're just trying to do our jobs, make a living, pay the bills. I know some of you don't think so, but we're really here to help you. I swear. Just, just know. 
just no. Not even just on the plane, just in general. Just general, just, just no. Yeah, we all agree, yeah? Okay, thank you. This one is a controversial one. If you don't know what skip legging is, it's when you book a flight with a stopover, but your final destination in reality is the stopover, so you actually don't make it to your destination. And people do this because this is actually cheaper sometimes than booking a direct flight to the stopover. I don't know, yeah, it, it exists, it happens. I mean, it may save you a few bucks, but if you get caught by the airline doing this, well, that can put you on their no-fly list, so be careful. Of course, flying is amazing. You're excited, you're pumped to get to your destination. But sometimes some of you go a little bit overboard where we have to constantly tell you to settle down and if you continue to annoy everyone on board, well, we don't want you back. And I know, I know, some of you guys are going to say, well, what about babies? Babies are annoying. They are disruptive. They cry, cry, cry. Well, guess what? They're babies, okay? They're exempt. Why are there so many of these happening right now? Like, no, don't touch the emergency doors. They are for emergencies. I know the slide looks fun. I get it. I went down it. It's fun. The fun's gonna cost you getting banned and probably also getting charged. So the only person that should be allowed to touch those doors during a flight is me to throw off the rude passengers, okay? Safe flying, everyone. Here's what to do when you miss your flight. Don't worry, guys. I've missed my flight too before, okay? I got you. First things first. Don't panic. Take a deep breath. <sighs> This is what you do. You're going to go to your nearest customer service desk or gate agent that you see for that specific airline. Let them know you missed your flight and they will give you some options. They will usually rebook you onto the next available flight. Now, if that flight is full, they will put you on standby. It's not a confirmed seat. However, when the time comes, the gate agent will do some rearranging and hopefully get you on that flight. And also, they might rebook you on one of their flight partners. And for those that missed their flight because they had a connecting flight which was late and in turn you're late for your next flight, don't worry because if you're with the same airline, they already know you're not going to make that flight. So they already booked you into the next available flight. Usually when you land, they will give you your new boarding passes for your next flight. Alright, here's another trick. Sometimes you're not able to find a gate agent to help you. Or maybe the line is just really long. If you have that airline's app, some of the airlines actually allow you to rebook onto the next flight yourself. All right, for the fees, are there fees? Yes, some of them do, depending on the situation. Of course, if it's airline's fault, they're not going to charge you. But if you were late yourself, there might be a little bit of a fee. But that's depending on every airline. You know what? Maybe you don't even care about the flight, but you care about your luggage. What about your luggage? I mean, if you miss a connecting flight, the bags are actually still with you. So those bags will go on your new flight. So don't worry about that. And if you're really late and didn't even check in yet, so the bags are still with you, you don't have to worry about that. But you've checked in, you've passed security, you went to your gate and you missed your flight. So the airline has your luggage. What then? Usually the airline will offload your luggage because you didn't make it to the gate on time. That's why there's airline cutoff times, you know, that you have to follow, but they will reroute it to your final destination. So whatever the reason may be that you missed your flight, I know it sucks, but don't forget to be nice. Be polite to the staff because they will do their best to try to get you to where you need to be. Bye! Are you bringing your furry best friend on a flight with you? Before you book your flight, make sure you check on the airline's website on their pet policy. Every airline is different. You can check to see if your pet will be allowed in the cabin with you or if your pet has to go in cargo. With exceptions of service animals, of course. A lot of airlines are not accepting emotional support animals anymore, so double check. I just realized I had a blueberry in my teeth the whole time, but I'm not refilming this. Once you have chosen your airline, you can call in to book your ticket and your pet's ticket at the same time. If you purchase online, you'll need to book your ticket, then call in to add your pet's name. Make sure you call within 24 hours because they only allow a certain number of pets on board. So if the flight is full with pets, well, at least you can still cancel your ticket for a full refund. This one is so important, you guys. Before you go, make sure you check what that country's requirements are for pet vaccinations. Because if you don't have the correct medical certificates, they will take your baby. They will take them and put them in quarantine for a long time, maybe, sometimes months. You don't want to do that. And make sure you get airline approved pet care 
carriers. This is tricky. There are carrier size restrictions for every airline, but within that airline, because they have multiple aircrafts, there's also restrictions for each aircraft. So make sure you look up your flight code and see which aircraft you'll be on to see which carrier you need if your pet is going into the cabin. If your pet is going into the cargo, label it, live animal. Maybe put an arrow that says this side up. And some passengers do this. They put a photo and some food, extra food on the outside of the carrier. Just in case, you know, if the flight gets delayed, then the airline personnel can at least feed your pet. Also, this is actually when you probably do want to go really, really early to the airport because if your pet is traveling in cargo, there is a separate check-in that you need to line up for. Also, while you're at the airport, don't worry. They usually have pet relief areas so your pet can go potty before you get on the plane. And just a friendly reminder, unless your pet is a service pet, your pet must be in the carrier at all times underneath the seat in front of you for the duration of the flight. Happy flying! Are you dating a Korean and meeting their Korean parents for the first time? Follow these tips and they're going to love you. Let's start with the basics. When you're going into their home for the first time, please take off your shoes. This is non-negotiable. Now, if you're taking off your shoes, make sure you have socks on. This is the first time the parents are meeting you. You want them to see your crusty ass toes? Nobody wants to see that, okay? And if you're wearing sandals, it's okay. Just bring a pair of socks. I'm going to teach you two Korean phrases. Just memorize it. Number one, 안녕하세요. 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 It is a formal way of saying hello. Number two, 맛있어요. 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 It means that's delicious. Just making a little bit of effort to learn the language, they're going to love you. Now, greet it. When you first meet them, of course, you're going to say 안녕하세요 with a bow. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. And if they come in for a handshake, you're going to use two hands. Rather like this and shake. Okay? Or two hands and shake. Do not show up to their home empty handed. It doesn't have to be expensive. If they drink, you can bring a bottle of whiskey, but usually we bring a basket of fruit. I like to bring a box of Korean pear if they're in season. This one is a winner. You shower them with compliments. For example, <clears throat> Oh my god, Johnny, you didn't tell me you had a sister? When you go into a Korean home, trust me, they are going to feed you like a lot of food. So make sure you come hungry. And I don't care what it is they give you, you're going to finish it. Everything they put on your plate. And while you're eating, what are you going to say? Mashisayo! Mashisayo! And also, I'm going to warn you now, just so that you're prepared, that Korean parents, they have no filters. So be prepared for these tough questions, including your medical history, all the way to your childhood trauma. Good luck, you got this! Sarangye! I'm good. Ooh, I like your accent. Can I have your number? One, three, six, two. Three, six, two, nine. Okay, yeah. Oh my, you didn't leave water in your bag again, right? I miss so. Ma'am, I'm going to need to inspect your luggage. No problem. What is this? That's my cutter. You know, blade very sharp. You know, careful, it'll cut you. No, 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 she means a razor. You know, for shaving. No sharp items are allowed in your carry-on, so I'm going to need to take this. And what is this? White powder give me energy, make me strong and the best. <laughs> that, that's just pre-workout, you know, she's been working out a lot. I'm gonna need to run some tests on this. <laughs> and what is this? Oh, that's a bomb. Oh, uh, go boom on plane, so in plastic. <laughs> Everyone, there's a bomb! Step back, step back! She means skin bomb, you know? Dry skin. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to step aside for additional screening. Take your laptops and electronics out the bag. If you got a hoodie on, take it all! Take it all! How many times you gotta get cut? Sorry, is this your back? Slotty damn! You see this young lady trying to get it on the-
Can I collect my bags, please? Go to baggage claim and take whatever is yours, I guess. Huh? <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. Just going into labor! Is there a doctor on board? Really? No doctors? Uh, well, if there's no doctors, I'm a gardener. I don't think that helps. Well, we create life. You should have seen the 12 pound cucumber I pulled out my garden yesterday. Yeah. No. No, no. A gardener should not be delivering this baby. It should be me, an Amazon delivery driver. Thank you, but that's not what we need right now. I mean, if she has Amazon Prime, I can deliver the baby same day guarantee. That's not the type of delivery we need right now. Anyone else? If there's anyone else that's more qualified to get this baby out, it's me. Are you a doctor? Uh, no, but I'm a minor and, you know, I've got experience taking things out of holes. You know what I mean? Please. Anyone else? I'm all caught up on 19 seasons of Grey's Anatomy. Yeah, okay. <gasps> Hi, sweetie. What are you doing here? Where's your mom? <gasps> My mom is sleeping in the back of the plane. Okay, well, you shouldn't be here, so let me take you back, okay? Okay. Oh, are you hungry? <gasps> yeah. Okay, when I take you back to your mom, I'll have the nice flight attendants give you a snack. But they just have peanuts back there. Can I have those snacks? Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. These snacks are reserved. It's okay. Nothing could ever happen on my birthday anyways. It's your birthday? Yes. Happy birthday, honey, but we really need to go back to your mom, okay? Okay. Excuse me, ma'am, I found your daughter over in first class. <sighs> oh, oh, so, so sorry, uh, I was sleeping. Also, don't tell anyone, but happy birthday. <gasps> thank you. Oh, oh, thank, thank you very much. Yeah, this thing is not on. It will be in 240 days! Excuse me, I would like to report some suspicious activity. Okay... I saw a passenger steal things from the plane and put it under his jacket. I don't know what he stole, but I just wanted to let you know. Not again. <gasps> hey, you! I know you're not sleeping. You woke me up from my beauty sleep. Someone saw you steal things from the plane. Cough it up. Fine, you caught me. Oh. These are free, you won't get in trouble for that. Coffee's also free, right? The coffee's free, but not the coffee maker! <laughs> How did you even get this? Blankets are free, right? So that means jackets are too? You can't take that, that's for emergencies only! Well, this is free, right? Because he came to me. <gasps> no, he's not free! Did anyone lose a dog? What's this? Am I in trouble? Yeah. You're going to jail. Can I have a Coke, please? For the tenth time. Of course. Oh, um, can I have some ice in it? I didn't ask for ice before, but okay. Um, can I have a blanket, please? Of course. Here you go. Oh, and also a pillow. Yeah. Get that for ya. Are these peanuts gluten-free? Let me look at the packaging for ya. Yeah, it says it's gluten-free. Can I get some special brownies or some edibles? How did you get past security? Hey, um trying to sleep and the engines are so loud. Did you just turn them off? <sighs> Where did everyone go? Hmm? I don't know. Excuse me, please sit down and put on your seatbelt until we're at the gate and the captain has turned off the seatbelt sign. Why? We have landed. Yes, but we are still moving and it is not safe. But we are moving so slow. It is still dangerous. I just need to get off first so I can catch my next flight. Standing up will not help you get off the plane first. <laughs> oh! I guess I was wrong. You do get off first. Excuse me, can you put up my bag for me? If you're unable to lift your bags, I'll be more than happy to check it in for you and you can pick it up at baggage claim. <sighs> But you did it for her? Yes, because she's five foot tall and too short to reach, so. <laughs> well, she's tall enough and you did it for her. She's 90 years old. He seems young, you did it for him. The guy in the wheelchair? 
Yes, I did it for him. Those that are physically unable to do it themselves, of course I will help them. Come on, it's just one more bay. Sweetie, there's 400 passengers on this plane. If I have to lift up and put away every single one of them, I will break my back and die. Okay, I, I guess that makes sense. Excellent, so would you like to do it yourself or did you want to check it in? <clears throat> Excuse me, do you think you can help me with my luggage? I'll help you with that, miss. <laughs> I guess that works too. And how many of you will be flying today? How many? 30 tickets. All right. So the total for 30 tickets is $15,000. No, no, no. 29 of them should be free. Why is that? They're all under two years old. Under two flies free, right? I see. In that case, I can comp you one child. It's one child per adult. The rest will need to pay as they need their own seat. Oh, damn. I guess that makes sense. I can't really argue that. Don't matter anyway. All my money goes to spoiling my kids. What a great father you are, sir. Yeah, my dad's the best. Who the hell are you? You ain't my kid. I could be. Do need an Asian baby. Hey, who ate all the powdered donuts? It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. I have no idea. 